Hello ladies and gentlemen, Simon here, and I bring you another reaction to My Hero Academia. Moving on to the third episode of Season 2, and last time around we had the beginning of the sports events. The very first one was the race. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, it's a four mile race around the outside of the arena, and there's going to be certain obstacles to overcome. Now we saw last time around the very first obstacle was actually getting to the outside of the arena because it was a very narrow passageway and we saw that it was quite a cramp and of course it didn't help then that Todoroki used his ice blast to freeze a lot of the students in place and um, we saw several of the 1A students manage to get around that and uh, Todoroki's taken a, a lead which you know obviously he's using everything he has to his advantage now last time he was talking about impressing his father and some people mentioned in the comments that I'd maybe gotten the wrong side of the coin on that. So I'm guessing he doesn't like his father in that case. I was thinking maybe this is something where he was trying to impress his father. But now thinking about it, maybe he is trying to, um, you know, maybe, maybe his father is expecting him to do well. Because we learned that he got in on recommendation alone, which is something that no one else did. Um, so maybe he hates the fact that he is privileged or maybe he doesn't like his father because of his power. And so he's kind of trying trying to stick it to him. Um, either way, I mean, I would expect a few people to do well in this race. Um, Ida would probably do pretty well in this race, I think. Um, obviously, Bakugo is always going to, you know, do fairly decent in these kinds of competitions. We actually saw Mineta doing quite well. As much as I hate Mineta, he was putting his balls to use, um, which is something that I don't like saying. Um, I don't think that Deku is going to do too particularly well in this first challenge. I mean, a straight race isn't particularly his forte. And he is, of course, being faced down by those huge robots that we saw back at the uh, exam. You know, it could go either way. It could go either way. But I'm expecting either um, Ida or Todoroki to win this because they really have the power advantage. I think Bakugo probably would let his emotions get too far ahead of him or he'll make a mistake. I don't know. Um, but anyway, why don't we jump into this and see what's going to happen. How are you going to get out of this one? That's a lot of robots. Teleroki won't have a problem. That was the line. Dear old dad has a very sarcastic tone now that I think about it. Oh shit. Who is it? <laughs> Good thing he's got skin made out of rock. Yeah. Oh, someone else? Okay. He's a steel man. <laughs> Tetsu, 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 Tetsu. Whoever named him is cruel. <laughs> He's using his... Oh, he can just fly. I like him. He's got like a. That's pretty cool. I'll keep this and use it as a shield if I need to. Perfect. Is that? <laughs> Bakugo. No. 
she just pulled out a massive gun. Oh, so she got in on recommendations as well. So it wasn't uh, just. Wasn't just Todoroki. I've asked so much of you, young Midoriya. You don't have to come in first. Just get to the next round. Yeah. Just be there. Just get your name there. You know. Yeah. What happens if someone falls and dies? <laughs> Is that a quirk? Building gadgets? she gonna end up please tell me she's just gonna her, her gear is gonna crap out on her and she just goes plummeting that'd be funny where's Ida there he is yeah what you're supposed to be fast Ida ah. There's a dog just sitting in the audience. Don't you know who his father is? The flame hero, Endeavor. The flame hero. For real? That guy's second only to All Might himself. Oh, okay, well that says a lot. Is he jealous? Because he wants to be All Might's sidekick? Is that why he's jealous of Midoriya? Makes sense. Does his dad expect him to... I don't know. Be All Might's second. Mines. Faster. I can do this. I think you can drop the shield now. Whoa! Very clever. Those in the lead are actually at a disadvantage here. Guess it makes for good entertainment. I was gonna say, can't they just blow them all? He's gonna step on a mine. Trying to attack him. Slow mo. He has slow mo quirk. He's going to use it. Oh. Boom. I like that. There's a subtitle just says a boom. Oh. Oh, he's going to use it as a, as a, like a, accelerator. Ah, he's flying. <laughs> he's going to fly right past them. That's amazing. He's just moving them all into one. That's a lot of mines. <laughs> Super explosive turbo speed. That's a hell of a power. But you gotta land. Yeah. Yeah. I just have to hold on and keep going. I have a chance here. I have to reach <laughs> out and take it. Is he gonna grab onto them? Stay ahead is to take another leap. I have to take them out of the running. Oh I sh! <laughs> is that gonna blow up again? Whoa! 
That is some agility. But they're back on him. Either way, even if he doesn't win, he's made a name for himself. Who's going to win? He won. He actually won. Whoa, I was not expecting that. I was thinking, okay, he'll do well. <laughs> that was impressive. He's made a name for himself now. Oh, he doesn't have his hands on him. They definitely have their work cut out. Well, he doesn't have much going for him appearance-wise. So That's a hell of a head, dude. That's a beehive. Expected artistic ways that he performs under pressure. Business course students. Some oh. things never change. Business. The business course. That'd probably There's be me. There's really no benefit to them participating in the sports festival, so they cultivate their instincts by selling things or running market simulations. They have a lot of free time. I was a business student. I'd rather have been a hero, though. Deku. No way. He's going to be so pissed. I'd have finished sixth place. He's got the quirk of someone who's supposed to be so fast and he finished sixth. And the point value assigned to the first place contestant. A thousand, maybe? Million. What? Ten million? <laughs> so they all want they all want Deku. Okay, so very good episode. I, I loved the uh the competition that we had there. Um as expected, Todoroki was, you know, way out ahead and um got through the obstacles fairly easy. Um you know, but even he was slowed down by the mine course, and I honestly was not expecting Izuku to to really win. I mean, I was expecting him to do well. I was like, you know what, he'll probably come up with a you know a pretty smart plan, and he might finish in like the top five. And you know, it's kind of like it's to show that yes, he's got a great potential, but he's not quite there yet. Um, I thought they're not going to go the full on kind of like giving him the win straight away, and they actually did that. Um. But you know what, I'm kind of glad, I'm kind of fine with the way they did it, because they did it in such a way that made him look so intelligent. You know, he, he didn't use his quirk, he used his brain. And I think that's the difference between, you know, obviously him and, and a lot of the rest. You know, Bakugo and Todoroki, they were too focused on using their own powers to try and beat each other, that Deku took advantage, and... It just took a little bit of thinking, a little bit of smarts for him to, you know, come up with a plan. I don't know how he managed to stick the landing on both the jumps because, you know, that would be a very difficult thing to do. Um, But again, looking back on that episode, I do think that Todoroki is insanely, like, jealous of Midoriya because... Now, I don't know whether this is because his father has very high expectations of him. We heard there his father is second only to All Might. Now, I think Todoroki was expecting to gain favor with All Might and potentially become his sidekick because, you know, he sees himself as the most talented in the class. And right now, he may well be. Um, and he, he, he doesn't like the fact that, you know, Deku has quite a close relationship with All Might. So whether that's just coming from his own personal jealousy or because it's something to do with his father, I'm not sure. But it's becoming more clear now that, you know, again, we're learning more about his background and what, what um, you know, drives him. Um, now, one person who didn't do as well as I was expecting is uh, Ida. I, I was expecting Ida to really do well. I mean, his quirk is all about speed. And whilst, yes, there is obstacles in the way, he couldn't even keep up. You know, he came sixth, I think, which is surprising. Um, so, you know, I'm disappointed in Ida, and I hope he does better next time. But it looks like everyone got through. Um, 
just, I think. Um, it's interesting to see that Todoroki was not the only person who got through on merits or, you know, recommendations, sorry. I thought that he was. Um, but no, uh, I think was it um, Momo who also got through on a recommendation as well? I can't remember. We saw some of the other students as well. We saw, like, you know, the support class, the business class. Just, it's nice to actually see that there is, you know, there's more students in the school than just class 1A. Still very interested in finding out what some of the um, quirks are from, you know, class 1B. Um, and beyond that, really, because, you know, there's a lot of interesting um, characters, I think, that we're going to be having here. Whoever named Tetsu 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 Tetsu, they need to they they need to go like they need to to just have a slap in the face. It's like why did you name your kid twice? <laughs> um. So yeah. Anyway, I really enjoyed that episode. Again, it was it was a fun kind of light hearted comp- competitive episode. Deku got the win. Now he's the main focus. I mean, the that, that the thing that he's done is he's put himself in the limelight. He's won an event. Everyone knows who he is. But he's now got a massive target on his back going into the next episode. So it will be interesting to see how he's going to deal with that. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you for the next one.